how's it going guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more f1 2020 my team season three we are heading on into the uk silverstone grand prix but before we do that we have to take care of some financial stuff which is sponsorship renewals as well as our second driver contract so let's hope that max verstappen stays with us for the remainder of the season he's been on a roll recently so um it's all looking good. I think I'm just going to renew sponsors as is. I don't think we need new sponsors. They've been very good to us. So let's renegotiate with teammate, of course. He's been on a roll. So I would like to see him see out the rest of the season, possibly win the driver's championship or help us secure the constructors. So we are going to go for the low risk option of 12.85 million US dollars. Let's see if he accepts this deal. Yes, he does. He will be with us for the remainder of the season for the next 11 weekends, 147 days. Perfect. Let's try to get to this minor upgrade in the chassis department. Uh, both ultimate upgrades here will be useful to us. So let's start with the suspension geometry. Let's develop that standard because even if rushed, it'll come after the UK, but before the Hungarian Grand Prix. So we will do that one facilities wise we will also enter some upgrades uh i want to do resource point generation because resource points are going to be important just as expected we don't have enough funds for that so we will instead do build time with the aerodynamics department they are lacking in that regard uh, we have 8 million in the bank which we will save for the future so we have an invitational event before heading on into the British Grand Prix. So we're going to quickly do that. We get a thousand acclaim and 150k dollars. So yeah, I'll quickly do that and then I'll see you afterwards. We officially passed the invitational event pretty much on the 2004 Ferrari. Very cool drive. 12 kilometers past, 150k and a thousand acclaim in the bank. That was a good run. We're back in HQ, heading on into the British Silverstone circuit, the British Grand Prix, of course. So we're gonna do all the practice programs as always, and then I'll see you guys afterwards for qualifying. Welcome to qualifying at the UK Silverstone circuit. Practice was overall very comfortable and good, minus the qualifying program, qualifying pace program. I don't know why that is so broken in this game, or it's probably me just driving horribly and poorly. Um, yeah, everything's looking good. Car setup's looking good. I did some decent laps. Overall, landed in P2 of the whole uh, practice session so let's head on into qualifying with that solid practice session and see where we end up for the race first lap of q1 on medium set of tires we're in p5 all right our car is quick on the medium set of compound medium compound tire there we go let's head on into the garage so at the end of the session we succeed in qualifying for q2 just about in p14 on the medium compound tire everyone else ran soft so as you can see knocked out of q1 are latifi schumo here grosjean albon Aiken, and magnuson so we're heading on into q2 let's see what happens there first lap of q2 we arrive at p10 0.3 seconds slower than norris i don't know where i can get this time from but we will see. All right, so our one run was good enough because it started raining. I couldn't even do my second run, but we make it through to Q3. Giovinazzi, De Vries, Russell, Ocon, Kvyat, and Bottas all miss out on Q3. It is raining, so let's see what Q3 has in store for us under wet conditions. Here we go, first lap of Q3 and wet conditions. We're P5 again, it's the curse of P5 or something. We go one more round. Let's see if we can improve on that. It is a bit of a shame. The qualifying session was a lot harder than I expected. We qualify in P7. Max Verstappen is in P2. Lewis Hamilton is in P1, rounding out the front row of the grid. It is a bit of an unorthodox start for us. I mean, we usually sit at the front, but here we are sitting towards the back of the first 10 cars. So let's see if we can make the most out of our situation and hopefully we can get another podium. 
We return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. Silverstone circuit then. It's 3.6 miles long and has a total of 18 corners. And of course, is no stranger to the rain. There won't be any DRS available in these conditions, but the Wellington and Hangar Straits are still good opportunities to tuck into the slipstream and make a pass. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Lando Norris, and Gasly, Lucky, Perez, Ricardo, and Lance Stroll, Bottas, Fiat, Esteban Ocon, and Russell, De Vries, Giovinazzi, Kevin Magnussen, and Jack Aitken, Albon, Grosjean, Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Bit of a difficult mountain to climb today. Uh, let's take a look here. It, we do have, if you look at the top bar with the session forecast, we do have a dry stint coming up. So I think I might stay out for as long as I can and try to make the most out of these intermediates for the first lap and then we will head on into soft compound tires for the remainder eight laps of the session so let's hope that the forecast is correct uh, we're going to drop our fuel load to approximately 25 laps again uh, in the rain i think it's easier to control the fuel so we will drop in maybe even 1.5 laps yeah we can do that so that is the plan. Let's get on going with the Silverstone UK Grand Prix. Five red lights at UK Silverstone Circuit and underway we go. Okay, we got a decent start. Decent start. Trying to weave our way through. Took a hit from someone. I don't know who. All right. Shunting with Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris on the far side. No wing damage just yet. Cutting him off, giving him the ultimate squeeze. And off we go. We are in what? P4. P4. Okay, we can manage this. Verstappen and Leclerc up ahead. Let's try to keep this momentum going. Yeah, Silverstone is a hard track for me. I think the AI has more um, grip and traction on this uh, track than I do, so it's going to be difficult for me. Let's see how well I can perform. Yeah, that turn was trash because I had no grip. It's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Leclerc's three seconds up the road. Let's keep pushing, keep pushing. Alright, decent run here. Decent. Now we're pulling away from signs, I believe. Approximately a second gap to him. Ooh, the front pack is pulling away. Leclerc's now four seconds up the road. I'm struggling off for grip on these intermediate tires. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I am not good on this track. 
This car is too slip and slidey. Gotta keep pushing though. Okay, another lap down. Three green sectors, which is decent, but not good enough to get closer to Leclerc and Co. Ooh, Perez is behind us, but we are pulling away from eight seconds to Leclerc. Goodness me. Perez just knocked us away. We are side by side now. He collided with us, so he probably has a warning. If not, maybe even a penalty for it. But I don't think so, because it would show if he had a penalty. But here we are still fighting for P4. Ooh, Perez getting a better exit. Oh, he's out! Oh, goodness. I slid right next to him, and Perez is out. Alright. How slow do you want me to go? Goodness me, okay. Alright, we're racing again. Like, how did Leclerc get 12 seconds now? Like, I think the VSC is unfair. It's unfairly um, placed on all the cars, because si uh, Norris was far behind me. And then all of a sudden he catches up because of VSC. And if I sped up even a tiny bit, I would end up in the red, so... I think, I think the VSC is unfair to the player. Whoa, Lando Norris. Lando, Lando, Lando. Ooh. Near collision with another driver. Okay. Shunted by Daniel Ricardo, I believe. Alright, another lap down. Lap 5. The dry stint should be coming soon. Towards like lap 20. So, all I gotta do is try to maintain this form. Alright, yeah, this AI is OP here. They have unbelievable grip around this track on wets. Like, I can't even make a single turn here without sliding, but the AI can just make a perfect turn. Ooh, two Red Bulls fighting behind me. Kvyat and Russell. Oh, Kvyat and Ricardo, sorry. Oh, okay. Mate, why you hit me like that? Hui. Alright, chaos. But drying up is the key words right now. Are the key words right now. According to Jeff, the track is clearing up a little. And is drying up, therefore. Look at that, there's a pocket of blue skies coming up, so... The weather's gonna kind of get better in the next couple laps, I guess. It might be that the dry stand might be coming sooner than expected. Yeah, podium is a stretch. Don't think I can achieve a podium. But I can get P4. It's a maintenance run now. I don't think the line is really dry enough yet to start thinking about slicks. Let's Okay, thinking about slicks. Okay. Jeff is already keeping me updated about the weather condition. So it might be that dries are coming up. Oh my god, Ricardo, what are you doing? You ran into me. I'm surprised no safety cars come out yet. So many cars around me because I'm slow. Not only am I slow, I'm slip and sliding everywhere. And I think the AI is having moments of shockers as well. Like they're crashing into me, I'm crashing into them. Could be anyone's fault. Hamilton just putting in fastest laps left, right, and center. He must be zooming ahead. Okay. By a According to the map on the bottom left, it seems like Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton are fighting it out approximately 30 seconds ahead of us, so... Hopefully Max can get the lead off of Hamilton. Oh. 
decent exit out of there. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay, rain has stopped. Rain has just stopped. No more raindrops on my camera, so dry stand must be coming up in the next lap or two. Weather report. No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. Not sure whether dries or inters are faster. We're right on the crossover. Yep, I can feel it. I'm gonna box next lap. Or what I mean is I'm gonna box this lap, pretty much. I don't know if Max Verstappen's gonna go in, but he should be clear. Oh, took a hit from behind, what the hell? Okay, a lot of replay. A lot of replay footage, man. How is there no safety car? Box this lap. Alright, we're going in. We're gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Alright. Going into the pits. Oh god, we got a... Switch over to mediums. Can we go 16 laps on mediums? Yeah, we can do 16 laps on mediums. Let's go. It might be too early to call. It may be a mistake, but we'll see. We'll see. It's a risk I'm taking. Hopefully this will see us jump some spots and hopefully this will be better. Come on. Come on, please. Come on, please. Please, 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 please tell me I made the right call today. Oh, I made the perfect call just as I leave. DRS is enabled. Still kind of shaky, but... Here we go. It is dry to compound tire time. Uh-oh, what happened behind me? I don't know. Max in the pits, okay. We'll keep going, we keep pushing. It is not optimum time yet. Like seriously, I'm swish I'm like slip and sliding still. So I think media uh, intermediates and uh, dries are both slip and slidey right now. We're not on the optimum phase yet. Okay, a bunch of vehicles are in the pit lane. We got the undercut on everyone. Let's see how far up the field we go. Hopefully we're back up to like P4 somewhere around there. Oh, we're P5. Latifi is the one who made the mistake of staying out on intermediates for another lap. Um, yeah. So he is the only one between me and Leclerc. Yeah, same as me, man. So we are effectively P4. But I don't know if we can catch uh, Leclerc, who is in P3. Let's hope. I can only hope. No. Why is he telling me to go into intermediates? And I got shunted by the Renault oh I got a fastest lap what the heck that came out of nowhere Lando Norris with the fastest lap now okay yeah I know trying to catch up to Oh, Max Verstappen just overtook the lead. Take a look at the top left. He is not within our sights. 
So yeah, Max Verstappen might get away with the race victory here. Oh, Mick Schumacher is out of the race. Okay, ESC. I just corner cut there. Corner cut there again. But that's fine. The AI is like, yep, I see you trying to control your car. Alright, VSC over. Just in time. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, 46 seconds ahead. Almost a minute ahead. Charles Leclerc. Ooh, I put a purple sector there. Perhaps it is time. I hear something in the distance. Is it time? I think it's time for a fastest lap here. Let's see. Will this be a fastest lap of the Grand Prix? Yes it is! 127.8. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, Sergio Perez stole it from me. Dang it. Sergio Perez stole it. Is it another one? Could it possibly be another fastest lap of the Grand Prix? No, it's not. Darn it. Just behind Sergio Perez's score, I guess. Max Verstappen is left, right, and center. Going fastest lap. Driver in front. Leclerc ahead. Gap to car in front is 41. Three seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are eight laps old. The time last lap was at one twenty-six point eight. You're down eight tenths a lap. Okay. If I'm down eight tenths a lap, that means Leclerc's got it in the bag. Yeah, I mean I'm not catching these guys. We got five. Look, <laughs> Max Verstappen again with the fastest lap. Oh my God, Max Verstappen again. We have created a beast, and we don't know how to tame him. Max Verstappen, like previous episode, is just too OP right now. You give the kid a rocket ship and he delivers trophies and podiums day in, day out. Oh my goodness. We have a broken DRS system. Is Jeff not going to say anything about the DRS? I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be within one second of anyone. But the big worry is Gasly behind us. It is storming his way closer to us. Gasly and Signs are tussling it out behind us, so that's costing him a little time. Ooh, Max or Steppen, I think, is close to lapping us. Gasly's colliding with me, bro. Goodness me. Bunch of people around me. Carlos Sainz is out of the session. Don't know what happened. Alright, final lap of the Grand Prix. Alright, Kvyat is a bit further behind us. I think we got P4 in the bag. Max Verstappen just won the Grand Prix, as expected. P4 is ours for the taking unless we bottle it against Kvyat or Ricardo. Hopefully we can defend for the rest of the Grand Prix. Okay, stop hitting me bro. The AI hits me all the time at UK. In the UK. In the Silver Stone. Hey, hey, hey. That's what you get for hitting me earlier, bro. Oh my god. Did you guys just see that? He hit me earlier, and I got frustrated with him. Overtakes me here. Kind of interlock there. And then he goes flying. Oh god. Someone hit him. Is this Lando? I think Lando just launches Kvyat into the air. Goodness me. That is a sight to see. Goodness me. Daniel Kvyat is out of this session. I knew it, I mean, he got launched into the air. Oh, Daniel Ricardo coming at us. Squoze him to the edge of the track. Oh, 
Alright, I think we got it. P4 is ours. Yep, P4 is ours. What a race. Bizarre race, but there we are. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in part for me. Well, they've done a brilliant job, I must say, under some intense pressure to take a well-earned victory here at the British Grand Prix. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. It is good to see Max Verstappen maintain his form getting podium today. I think he also has the fastest lap. Lewis Hamilton right behind him and sadly we could not find its pace to get up on the podium. But we did manage to get P4 which is a good, uh, good feat to accomplish given our poor start to the Grand Prix in the rain. So here we are at the results page of the Grand Prix. Max Verstappen in first, Hamilton and Leclerc rounding out the podium. Good day for Mercedes and Ferrari getting on the podium. We are in P4, miles behind Leclerc and everyone. A minute and 20 behind Verstappen. How insane is that? Ricardo behind us, Russell behind him, Magnussen in P7. That's interesting. Magnus the Haas getting some vital points for the team apparently. Williams also up there in the top 10 points positions with De Vries. Norris and Kvyat round out the rest of the top 10. Kvyat of course I guess uh, he finished 90% of the race so he got counted in and was able to finish the race. Um, Gasly, Giovinazzi, Stroll, Perez, Latifi, Grosjean, Ocon, Bottas, Albon and Sainz round out the rest of the grid that finished. We have Schumacher and Aiken not finishing the race, which I don't know what problem they had, but there they are. Most importantly, let's take a look at the standings, of course. Max Verstappen extending the gap between us and him. 236 points in the lead, and we are 51 points behind him on 185. Bottas is in P3 with 109. I don't think he was able to secure points today. I might be wrong, but yeah we are still in the lead sue motorsport of course getting a lot of points today 421 points in total so far leading the championship for the constructor standings of course we are just over half of the season done so we start we need to start securing the bag to get the constructor standings uh home to sue motorsport it'll be our first constructors in the series Driver standings wise, I think Max Verstappen has it in the bag unless he fails to uh, finish races and I get a podium or even P1 with the fastest lap. Like, unless those kind of magic happen, I don't think I'll be able to get the driver standing given Max Verstappen's form. The guy's a beast. So, yeah, that's where we sit. Um, good day overall of also i wanted to take a look at the constructor standings with williams falling back down to the bottom haas is now solidifying a p10 position with 26 points it's tight between the alpha romeo and haas so it is still all to fight for in the bottom uh the mid table is slowly starting to take shape but i think uh, it is still too early to tell if we will finish in this order so another rainy weather race uh, in the series of course the UK is notorious for their rainy weather so I didn't expect less from them to give us a little bit of a rain stint for the race today started p7 which is a little unorthodox uh, we were always in the front or close to the front of the grid but we gave it a shot to start near the back in p7 or towards the back of the top 10 um, in p7 we were able to do well to control the midfield sort of the upper midfield i'd say we maintained p4 for most of the race on the wet stints and then we dove in a little earlier than everyone else to get the mediums on it wasn't optimal yet but uh, we were slowly getting into it and we had optimum pace when the track dried up had fastest left for a moment before perez stole it and then talk about the boy max verstappen who just dominated all of the race towards
towards the end like he was putting a fastest lap after fastest lap getting really quick overtook hamilton and then solidified his p1 race so i i mean we built a monster in max verstappen and i don't think we could tame him like he is far gone ahead he is storming ahead in the driver's standings as well as the races i mean he's been consistently getting p1s so i wouldn't be surprised if he continued this stint of getting really good results and you know who knows by the end not not even by the end maybe towards the latter latter one third of the season he's already going to secure the driver's standing and then possibly even secure the constructor standing for us but another great race in the uk we're heading on to hungary next episode so if you like this episode please leave a like subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified when the next episode of f1 2020 my team goes up i'm um, i hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as i am recording it so until next time, please be sure to take care of yourselves and each other. Enjoy life, and I'll see you guys next time.